And Kevin, I'm going to start with you, yeah. if it's okay. All right. Um, so this is the first time we've actually interacted, Kevin, so I'm really, really looking forward to what you're going to come across with. So now we're talking here about cloud, and but specifically how some of these new technologies can work with cloud, and clearly right. in the context of Qatar, right? So I want to keep everything in the context that we can, as local as we can to Qatar. But so one of the things when you, when you adopt any technology and you put it in the cloud is you're sort of giving up control a lot of the time, right? You're giving up, you're giving up control of how things are running and how things are operating. You know, how do customers keep some sort of control? And I think that's particularly uh, you know, concerning when we talk about things like AI technologies, you know. So what's your thoughts on this? And, you know, how do you think um, you know, customers can deal with this challenge? Well, first, I'd, I'd like to challenge you on that you don't give up control. In fact, it's important for you to realize that you still have the responsibility so the first step is to do proper due diligence before you trust your data or any of your business processes to a cloud service provider. And in my experience, this is the really the, the first step, lack of proper due diligence in just about every security incident trail of events. This is, this, this is what you see in failed cloud deployments. The root cause of the error, normally lack of proper formal training on cloud technology service models and economic models. Um, consuming a cloud service is very, very different from a traditional IT organization's role of buying and implementing technology. You are consuming technology services. So it's a false assumption that the cloud service provider will shoulder all of the responsibilities for meeting your requirements, policies, and expectations. The only responsibility that the CSP has is to deliver their services in accordance with the published service level agreement. You know, people don't like hearing this, but your requirements mean just about nothing to the cloud service provider, really? I mean, they they have built the infrastructure, they have designed the service to target a specific customer set. If you happen to be in that customer set, great. If you're not, it's your fault. So, so failure to ensure that the published SLA is sufficient to meet your organization's IT policies and operational requirements is your responsibility. That's where you keep control. So failure to ensure that all the required data security and privacy controls are available and that your organization has the proper processes in place to continually monitor the effectiveness of those controls is your responsibility. And that's how you maintain control. You know what, Kevin? I, I couldn't um, agree with that more. In fact, and we, we didn't rehearse the answer. And if I was to write a script of what I would like you to have said there, that would be it. Yeah. And uh, you know, I spent my life uh, working on contracts with clients for banking software, right? Which is the most regulated, yes. strictest piece of, I think, of any, uh, maybe other than military. It's pretty much strict to get in the, in the IT business. And uh, and it is all about uh, clients understanding what that service is and what they don't, you know, what they give up is in the contract. So, I, you know, right. literally, you couldn't have uh, said that any better. So, um, yeah, thank you. Well, the, the piece, the piece I'll add is that most decent cloud providers give a level of um, uh, contractual protection around governance, right? So, what you can change, what you can't change, what you can do, and I think that's a bit to really focus on because even if you're not sure if you've got the service right. Well, what can you adapt as you learn yourself as you go on? Yeah, what, what's in that CG? There's usually some sort of contractual change in there as well. So brilliant, absolutely brilliant. 